Welcome to Quirky Queen's Journals. My name's Kirsten. So I'm just putting some pan pastels out on my gel plate. Not cut, well, I kind of am covering it all. <laughs> but it, it's not like a perfect coverage because it doesn't pull up perfectly either. I also find the pan pastels do dry out the gel plate a bit. But I used to really not like these and I used to think, oh, that was a lot of money for what they were. But actually, I was using them in a canvas recently and, you know, I was really impressed with them. And then I found some of the old jelly prints where I'd used them before. And I was very impressed with them. So, you know, the jelly prints, do you know, I feel like they, they, they made it easier to put, to give movement to the gel print. That's what they did. Well, we're very American in our colours, or French, or other countries. Australian. Do you know, we'll use white for the first time. Because it will show us the impact of the pan pastels. So what I do routinely is, not routinely, when I feel that the gel plate, plate's getting dry and the paper's sticking, I'll just put some baby oil down and give it a wipe over and that helps to bring it back to life a bit. Now this is one of my stencils. Now I normally make masks, right? I just use the words mask, stencil interchangeably because at the end of the day, I am also using up old scraps that I've been keeping just to see if I can do anything with them. Yes. I actually prefer this side here. So yes, so I use I stencils mask. I generally prefer to make masks because you've got more control over where you can put them on the gel plate. They're more mix and match like. However, I have made some actual stencils. I will tell you, it's easier to make a mask. So you can see the blue and red coming up there. Because you've obviously, you've got a lot more cutting with the stencils and cutting that needs to be... You can't just kind of cut a bit off. Feel like we could get more up out of the shapes themselves. Right. Yeah, it's not bad. Did have one error when I was cutting it. Right there. I sliced right through it, but it doesn't really affect it at all. Right, so I think over this I will put purple. I do find as well that I actually need a bit more paint with the pan pastels. I think it's just the drying effect of them. Right, that's actually a jello on it, so that'll be interesting. Right, I've not had a jelly plate session in about a week, maybe more, with Christmas and etc. going on. And I have been trying other things. And there's an exhibition coming up. So I was concentrating on canvases. Um, see, when you've not done it for a few days, you do feel a bit lost. It kind of... 
but you really miss it as well. Right, I need to let that sit for a bit longer. When you're lifting onto papers that already have paint on them, you know, it can take a bit longer to lift off. Right, you'll see a lot of pan pastel left, but very little or any of it will come back up and you just remove it with baby oil. But you see that there? Love that. Do you see what I mean about the movement? I think it, 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 you get a bit more light and shadow effects with the pan pastel, I think. Oh, that is brilliant, this one. I've got a crease. There you go. Very happy with that. I also use these makeup sponges that I got cheap in Primark rather than... Let's use black. Rather than um, the... Oh, I can't even remember what the tools are called. Soft fit tools or something. These actually, you know, with the tools that they give you with the pan pastel, you couldn't coat a jelly plate like this. It just would be impossible. I've also used paint brushes with them, obviously dry, etc. But I found it made them a bit dusty like, and I like these. I find you don't want wastage, they're quite expensive. Okay, let's get out another stencil. This one here was a great big one that I made. But it was made on, you know, like poster paper. It's like It was like paper, good cardstock that's got glossy bits on each side. Turquoise blue. And a little bit of purple as well. Yeah, let's have you come in off a wee bit. Okay, I'm going to do the bottom half of this. And I think I would like to put some on here. Pair of spectacles. Okay. Do you know what I'm just thinking? The white actually was very good at keeping the. It didn't take over. I think I'll use the white again. Just some green strips. That was when I was looking at differences between heavy body and fluid and high flow acrylic paints. Okay, so that has been about a minute. really like that and we're all actually getting some of the previous pan pastel coming up as well but they don't blend because they kind of stay in place so you're not going to get muddy colours very nice 
and actually see once you've used the gel plate a wee bit it just it slides on a lot easier than when you've just baby oiled it obviously it was dry it didn't have baby oil on it still can we just do this one i think that's like ochre and sienna what color this time let me have a look do you know i've got burnt sienna we'll use that Oh, I want to show you these ones. I love these. These took quite a while to make, actually. As you can probably tell when I put them on here. Well, it's very opaque because it's kind of obliterated those green stripes that were on there but you know there is still evidence of it but it, it's you couldn't tell it was green I right, definitely need to put this bright yellow piece on don't we and then let's do this in here get some of the yellow coming through there I actually think they're my favourite stencils of the moment that was still wet. That was, I might have ruined this actually. So I didn't press the last piece in enough because you can see that I've still got quite a lot of paint around the outside here. But I don't mind that at all. Do you know, you've still got a bit of red and blue coming in there. It's it's just nice. And then that yellow is like a bit of sunshine coming through. Let's put green down. Let's use red. So this is just a kind of path. It's like a, a rocky path. Oh, that red's done wonderful things to the pan pastels, hasn't it? We'll use yellow green. Okay, that's been about two minutes. We'll have a look. I preferred it with the white, I think. Well, they've both got their merits, don't they? But I think that there was a... The light and shadow's not quite the same. Could be because it was kind of yellow onto yellow, though, as well. Still interesting. And I like the... Because this was obviously wrinkled. So I've got lots of little ones. And this was the kind of prototype for the other, the big one. I think this was actually harder to cut than the big one. I'm liking that 
blue and turquoise blue together and there's still some of the brown coming through or sienna sorry and then we'll use white paint to lift it just because i'm liking the effect of that but i wouldn't say that white is the answer every time okay so i'm just going to put it on this one mainly because it's a bit of a rubbish print to begin with right let's I'm getting quite um I think it's time to give the plate a clean I do like it. It's almost like some of this has come off here. This. In fact, that was about 30 seconds. I think it's really quite ready. I think if I left it much longer it would stick. Right, I'm going to clean this. I've only got one more as well. it does feel quite dry and there's obviously quite a lot sticking to it I'm just going to let it sit for a minute and do its work Did I put it? There it is. Going to put a bit more on. probably do with being done again but it can wait okay I'll put a little bit of the ochre down as well just to mute it a bit let's use the yellow blue have this from the spiral stencils that I was making. I have these, do you know, that's more stencils that I made. There were stencils inside these stencils. These are like the outskirts that I've cut. Let's just Um, I 
It's almost like bristle board that, but it's got a coating. That's how I would describe it anyway. I'm going to put it on that side. So you can see that just freshening up the plate and starting again has everything's just got a bit easier. But it's, it's pretty clear here that it was, you know, we weren't going to get quite the designs that we were intending. Right, I think instead of white this time that we should put down, well, we do silver actually. I'll find silver. We're going to use gold because I can't find the silver. I kind of wish I'd done it on this side. Do you know the gold's more transparent, isn't it? Using the gold to lift it rather than the white. It's also quite dominant, see, because it's very matte with the pan pastels. Right, I thought we should just put one more on. I'm not even going to put more pan pastel on. lift on to here. Hey, hey. That's worked well in that background. We should do one side white and one side gold. I don't think it's coming up in the middle properly because that's like completely dry to touch. Oh, but it's lovely. It's worked out really well. Do you know what I think gold with the yellow is really nice? See the fact it's yellow, it's as if it's brought up some of the gold up here. That's That's worked out really well. Okay, let's have a look at what we've got. I love this. This was the gold into the white. This has helped improve the background that had gotten lost because the gel plate was getting a bit clogged up with the pan pastels and the paints. But dried, but dried. Um, that obviously needs more. Probably just needs a simple white block. Or light blue or something. Just something. Nothing too outlandish. Something like that. I love this. I love the way that not all the paint had been picked up before we lifted this with the white. That is probably my favourite. Obviously that needs more. I like this. This turned out okay. I love this. This was the first one. That one worked really well.
this is a couple of attempts I made using copper but the copper paint wasn't lifting it off that was just a pull that was the very first pull just to take out from inside that stencil so that's that so we've got a few nice pieces from the pan pastels with the acrylic paint on our scrap papers I'm going to need to start making journals or something with these because I'm literally I've got hundreds and hundreds of them anyway thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you soon take care bye